this woman just got fired for liking a J.K. Rowling tweet. Okay, so she's, her name is Kara Lynn. She gave an interview to National Review, uh, I think, or is it either is it a National Review or Daily Mail? Yeah, National Review. And she worked for a gaming company, Limited Run Games, which you wouldn't think is like the most progressive, far-left, woke company. I don't know. It's like, I would think they cater to young guys for the most part. But in any event, she was a community manager, which I think meant she did press for them, uh, for Limited Run Games. She worked there for more than two years, and she just got fired because she enjoyed Harry Potter and followed some politically disfavored accounts on Twitter. Again, reading uh, from National Review. She, the first domino fell, she told National Review, when a friend of hers, an influencer for Twitch, another streaming platform, asked his followers for their thoughts on the new Harry Potter-themed game, Hogwarts Legacy. She, Carolyn, made the the mistake of responding, I'm personally looking forward to it. The more I see gameplay, the more excited I get. It's hitting all the marks I've been wanting for a Harry Potter game. Well, <laughs> that's fireable. Obviously. <laughs> it's obvi. So then this activist uh, who goes by the, by the name Purple Tinker on Twitter, um, according to the Washington Post, the person behind that name is Jessica Blank, who's actually a biological man going as a transgender woman. I and the young. founder of BroniCon, an annual convention for adult fans of My Little Pony. Yeah. Yep. These are sick no, efforts. No danger signs there, by the way. <laughs> there, I, I have a friend no red who flags. went to a convention and he he called, he like group texted all of us as soon as he walked in. He's like, holy shit, there's a My Little Con- Pony convention here. It's all freakish men. Attending, it, yeah. they get off on it. They get off yes. on little girls, okay, my little pony dolls. Okay, so this is Jessica, who's behind the attempt to take down Carolyn. And Jessica decided to go look through Carolyn's old tweets and found that she follows people like Libs of TikTok, Ian Miles Chong, yeah, same, by the way, and uh, exposed that she at one point had tweeted out something to the effect of, um, oh, seven-year-old tweet criticizing transgender inclusive bathroom legislation and called her a bigot, blah, blah, blah. The company caved. She's fired because of this. And they're not even trying to pretend it was for any reason other than this campaign against her. Did they put out a statement that was like, we respect other people's views. However, we just fired her for liking tweets. Because that usually comes right after the cancellation. Yes, here's what they said. Here's my notes from what they said. I, I don't know if you can read this, but I wrote, F you. <laughs> I, my potty <laughs> mouth. My mom told me to stop swearing so much. So did Deseret News, Bethany. But I, it's hard. Um, Sorry. Okay. They told me I know, that too. I, I know I need to do it, but I, it's really hard. It's hard. It's, the, it's so hard, especially when you're from New York. I, I feel your yes. pain. It's right? in our There's blood. A lot of it's in our blood. It's like in the bagels. Oh, no. That's, I don't have an excuse then. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so what's here's, really here's what crazy. they said. Wait, wait, let me read their statement. They said, limited run games respects all personal opinions. Yes, you called it mm-hmm. exactly, Mary Catherine. Yeah. However, we remain committed to supporting an inclusive culture. Upon investigating a situation, an employee was terminated. That's it. Upon investigating a situation, an employee was terminated. Passive, passive voice. Mm-hmm. Our goal as a company is to continue to foster a positive, wait for it, and safe environment for everyone. Because it is indeed dangerous when someone likes a tweet and they work <laughs> at your office, probably remotely, by the way. It's super dangerous. <laughs> right. What were you going to say, Bethany? So I just think it's really funny that they, once again, have thrown a woman under the bus in order to cater to the feelings of a biological male. That's that's the theme for all of these things. Women yeah. are thrown under the bus to cater to the feelings of biological males. Mm -hmm. Right, right back to the original theme. And I guess um, this person, Jessica Blank, a.k.a. Purple Tinker, a.k.a. founder of BroniCon, an annual convention for adult fans of My Little Pony, has made the point that it's been a long time since they have held a My Little Pony convention or (laughs) went to one, which I have news for you is really no defense. Jessica, (laughs) 
<laughs> to the fact that you found it and used to love that stuff as recently as, I guess, a few years ago. Um, these companies need to stand up. Yes. I, they need to stand up. This cannot keep happening. Or it's the end of our society. Yeah. No, the, the, the words, your concerns are noted, are a lost art. Like, like let's just enact that. Like, you can, you can tell someone, I hear what you're saying. We will not be making this person pay consequences for disagreeing with you. Now, the left will say, this isn't cancel culture. This is consequences culture. Consequences for liking tweets, for following people whom other people disagree with. I follow a lot of people that I disagree with, and people might find objectionable. And I am allowed to look at their thoughts. That is not, yeah. that is not a thing that is a fireable offense. Is your business still using spreadsheets and emails to manage important sales commission? Is your support and operations staff stretched too thin? Are your salespeople constantly trying to piece together the puzzle for what they're going to get paid on and what's potentially missing? Well, this is where ClearComp comes in. ClearComp is a one-stop shop for your business to manage sales commission documentation like commission plan info, product info, and facts. It's basically a sales operations and sales enablement dream platform. ClearComp works seamlessly and securely with your existing software applications for your billing, CRM, HR. You get the picture. Your sales team will perform their best with real-time results and earnings using ClearComp's interactive dashboards, and your operations team will be able to make commission plan adjustments with just a few clicks. So please get this done already, right? Get rid of this stressor. Modernize your sales organization. Improve your business today by visiting ClearComp.com. Dot com. That's C-L-E-A-R-C-O-M-P dot com. Book a demo and tell them I sent you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.